So we're here with the Brazoria County Health Department to give you some instructions on how to properly uh, collect water samples from a private well for submission for testing with the Brazoria County Water Lab Department. They would test to make sure that your drinking water is safe to drink after the flood and Hurricane Harvey. So first, let's look at some uh, supplies that you'll need to properly uh, collect the samples. You'll need some bleach, a toothbrush, uh, a cup to uh, use the bleach and to soak the uh, spigot, and then a uh, water collection sample uh, kit from the that you can pick up from the water lab. So first, once you've collected the uh, approved sample container, you'll then find the proper location to collect the sample. We suggest an outside faucet as close to the well as you can get, and if there's a spigot on the well, that's even better. Avoid uh, rubber hoses, dirty areas, or faucets that have nearby vegetation. Do not take samples from kitchens or bathroom sinks. Avoid sampling on windy or rainy days. So first, we would like to disinfect the faucet with bleach in a cup. So you'll place the cup of bleach, uh, or place the spigot into the cup of bleach and let allow to sit for several minutes. This will help to disinfect the outside area of the, of the spigot. We'll also take a toothbrush to clean the inside and outside of the faucet. <laughs> and so you'll take the toothbrush and clean up inside the faucet as far as it can reach, and that will loosen any bacteria or uh, stuff that may have been coming from the dirty water. So when you have cleaned the outside and the inside of the spigot, you'll turn the water on full blast and allow it to run for three minutes. After the water has run for three minutes, we'll slow the flow down to a trickle and fill the sample bottle up to the neck. You'll need to remove the plastic ring that's uh, on top of the cap. Remove the cap, but don't let it touch any other surface. Do not set it down and fill the bottle all the way up to the mark. Do not rinse the container. There's some white substance inside the container. That's perfectly normal. Uh, do not touch the inside of the bottle or the lid. Collect the sample. Replace the lid as quickly as possible. Airborne particles may contaminate your sample if you're not careful. So when you've collected the sample, the sample should be uh, delivered to the water lab within 24 hours of collecting the sample. Uh, place the uh, sample in a Ziploc baggie that has uh, some ice or an ice bag uh, inside. On the outside of the bag, write your name and address. The, the physical address of the well on the bag. There's also a form that you'll need to fill out to pre present to the water lab staff. And if you need assistance filling that out, uh, there'll be someone at the lab to assist, help you with that. So very important that when you're filling up the sample uh, container, the, the bottle that's, that the lab prov provides is fill it up to the neck of the bottle, not at, stop at the 100 milliliter uh, line. 
The Water Lab location is at 409 East Orange Street, Angleton, Texas, located directly behind the Brazoria County Health Department.